All get right. on there, check out Prime Saga's Compendium, and put that uh, work in, donate some dollars. But we're moving into the next batch where we got Dino Party and Arkister. Quote Arkister today says, you know, I can't make it to Wednesday Night Fights. And <laughs> Really? Uh, I thought he said he could. Uh, he said he said he was gonna enter, but then. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I, I read in the chat like one message. He's like, "Oh, I can't make it." I'm like, "This uh, guy." Oh, I think it was uh, it was Index who said. He could oh, okay. Make it. Um, oh, my bad. I thought I saw Arkster say that he couldn't make it to Wednesday Night Fights, but all good. He's here now. That's it's the important part. He's the inkling <laughs> player. Yeah. And Dino Party playing Villager, and oh, he pocketed. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see um, how Villager uh, plays, because this is actually the first time I've seen a Villager. In this game? Yeah, in this game. Luckily, funny enough, I actually got to play friendlies with him earlier. Yeah. I was like, that was the first time I played, and I was like, whoa. And he got a bowling ball to get the, get it rolling. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. Arkister's no slouch either. He's pretty you know, he's pretty good, uh, especially with Inkling. And Inkling's such a character that I feel like is just so designed to work around a lot of the projectile zoning characters just because that hurt box went and run just runs underneath stuff it's crazy um you know it's it's kind of interesting to see credits to dino party just playing keep away not doing anything too crazy and just racking on the damage and then getting the big bowling ball to seal it out that's another uh, splatter bomb that he's just pocketing he's like you're mine yeah and that's the main thing too as you said um Dino Party's doing a really good job of playing the keep away gay. Sure, Inkling does have the tools to, to break that mm -hmm. zone, but it, it it may just be the case that... What? Uh, oh, oh my god, god a the hard one, read. Dude. A second one, yeah. yeah. Catching the neutral getup with the forward smash, and you know it was a read yeah. because he didn't space himself to drop the bowling ball off the ledge. He dropped the, the bowling ball on the stage. So taking yeah. another stock from Arkansas here down to his last life. I'm almost wondering if that maybe it wasn't or it was just one of those situations where he's like, eh, why not? Let's throw it out. Let's just see what happens. Cause <laughs> nah, hard, read, bro. <laughs> hard read, bro. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, it may be just be the case that um, Arcus, right? And that's uh, still <laughs> a lot of players in this game. All right, he's going to get the roller into up smash, cleaning up a stock finally and putting himself on the board. Uh, he may not be too familiar with fighting projectile right. characters, especially not Villager since it's not a common character. Uh, but since he lost that first stock, Arkistor has made the adaptation to like slow down his own gameplay, whereas at the beginning he took a lot of percent and lost his stock because he was just trying to play so aggressive without necessarily knowing how to get around yeah, what uh, Dino Party is doing. It looks like he's playing a little more patient, just playing out of shield, and when he's trying to find an opportunity to break through, he's been coming in with that roller for some higher, you know, higher octane percentages that he could get off of comboing from there. Oh my god, the forward smash mm. is coming out. That just kind of looks like it's going to be Dino Party's go-to option in those situations, so... Hopefully, Arkister is able to adapt to that, or hopefully, Dino Party just oh lands some bowling balls and just takes right. the game. That, that back throw is definitely not as strong <laughs> as it used to be. It's still going to be a kill option, especially by the ledge, but it seems like from center stage, not even at 150. Uh, Arkistor going deep for this edge guard. <laughs> Luckily, has a, a tremendously uh, far reaching recovery, so he's going to make it back. Oh, uh, what? I, thought, I feel like Down Smash should have hit right there, maybe a little early oh. on, the, on it, or maybe out of space, then I don't know. That's again, uh, yeah, it's probably out of range. Yeah, Down definitely. smash it, you know, you think the splash is gonna hit everywhere, Ooh. but doesn't, oh, DBZ moment. Oh, oh and no. Arkister is the lone survivor. And he's at 180%. Anything that Villager does is gonna kill, and it's going to be <laughs> that back air, Dino Party, closing out game one with a JV2. Hey, Arkister a little unhappy with how that game went. Yeah. I don't blame him. Uh -huh. If I got hit by a couple bowling balls by a Villager, <laughs> I'd be pretty salty I mean, too. See, like, I, I got to a little bit familiar with this particular <laughs> particular villager, as I mentioned, uh, right before the tournament started, I yeah. got to play some friendlies, and he hit me with a bowling ball, and I died at 70. I was, like, like, but I, I was like, but I had to, I had to recover there. Like I was Lucina. Like I was like, what else was I supposed to do? Dude? <laughs> like, why did I die at 70? Right. <laughs> yeah, that thing is really strong. So really, no, no surprise to see Dino Party like using it over and over right. again. Relatively like low cooldown mm -hmm. as well. So worth. But on the other side of it, Arkister, of course, you know. Outside of those bowling balls, is doing a pretty good job yes. playing the matchup, it, it, even maybe to his own to his own advantage. So, if he's able to minimize just those key critical, you know, b huge mistakes, but mistakes, there there are only a couple of them. Um, I mean, he might be able to battle back and take the second game. I mean, already just in this game number two, we can see Arkistor has taken the lead. Um, definitely playing a much slower game plan. Uh, that that he 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 knew the second he lost that first stock in game one right. that he was like I'm doing this I'm going about this all wrong right. I, need, I need to like wait and actually look for Dino Party's patterns instead of trying to like oppress him with my own hitboxes because uh, even if 
Villager isn't like the greatest character or the fa fastest characters. His tools are really, really good. So you, you have to you have to know how to get around those tools. Right. It's, and it's just a matter of once you figure out really how to get around it, then it becomes really tricky for a villager player because it's like, well, that's kind of all I got. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I've already thrown out all the projectiles in the world. What more do I have in the in my pocket, if you will? Yeah. Um, so uh, it's you know good on Argister's part, but. As we were saying, you know, that villager is able to battle back, and we're pretty much dead even. The forwards matches are coming oh. out. Adaptation from Marcus there. He's going high, and he's not going straight Absolutely. to the ledge this time. Dude, he's going to do it a second time, and it's it's worth it. That time, Dino Party was able to sh shield the landing hitbox, but the, uh, the super jump does have a landing hitbox, so it's really good. And he's starting to queue up on Asom walk yeah. back. He's, oh, oh my no. God, that's a, yeah, I was a little scared for Argus <laughs> I was like, you're way too low, big guy, but he's able to battle back. Oh yeah, you can kind of see Dino Party kind of adapting to that high recovery. Oh my! Big triple God. turn up down air. Dunks, getting that first stock. I mean, after a like de huge deficit, that should be the stock. I like it. The directional air dodge immediately canceled after the jump. The uh, jump to get that perfect position to get that up smash. So no time wasted. I know a lot of in a lot of like beginning inkling mains are not ready to jump and then uh, directionally air dodge down to cancel their momentum. And, yeah, and they turn, they try to turn space, around, yeah. they end up bringing halfway across yep. the stage. And they're yep. like, wait, I'm supposed to punish. What do I do now? Uh, you know, that's the mark of an experience in Queen Main, right? As opposed For to the pocket sure. in Queen's. Absolutely. And uh, Arcasaur still trailing in percent a little bit here on the second stock, but nothing that he can't make up. Rapid jabs. Excellent tech there from Dino Party, who recognizing that he is able to roll behind the rapid jab after a certain amount of frames. Yeah, after that 11th hit on the shield, you have a frame one invincible roll option out, and that lets you punish people that are stuck in their rapid jab animation. Those jab loops, they take forever to cancel. Yeah, definitely. 124% now on Arcastor. He's doing his best to make his way in. That jab comes out so fast for Villager, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to talk to Arcastor about it. You're getting a lot of mileage playing out of shield and just taking it slow. And as, But that's the hard part, as that Villager builds a lead and it starts mounting and the time starts ticking. Yep. The damage starts increasing. That pressure you put on yourself to kind of solve the riddle kind of ultimately works against you. You just start getting that, you know, your face starts getting hot and you're like, this this is so obvious. I just need to walk through and break through this wall. It shouldn't be a problem. And that's when you get yourself into trouble. You kind of try to rush in, do things a little bit too quickly. And a problem is exactly what it's turning out to be for Arcus right now. You can see Dino Party is just so content yeah. with the non-committal gameplay. But he's going to get rollered here. The F smash, I almost thought that wasn't going to kill. But it is a really potent uh, kill setup as well. No red flash needed. I wonder if maybe Dino Party might have been holding up to DI, which caused more... Uh, more knockback That's increase, true, yeah. possibly. I don't know. I've, I've been trying to figure that one out where sometimes the kill moves don't have the red flash. And I've always, I have like the running theory that maybe it's because they increase their not their uh, their launch by holding up. I, I actually have like thought that myself too. So yeah. I, I, I I believe that. I just wish we could find the actual like <laughs> ga game data for it. Right. right? Like, <laughs> Where's the get get KH on it? He'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Arkister still a massive deficit to make up here, but it's one more stock. He just has to make the right plays. This is definitely a lot better than, uh, than the game one where he, he, oh, yep, catching the jump with the triple turn up. I mean, that's got to be the most devastating right. way to go out. It's like, man, you hit me with that. And, and you got a little was, bit of luck. And it was luck. <laughs> right. Ah. And, you know, it's, I know Arkister's frustrated uh, and there's no player cam on him right now because yeah. he's off, but he, he's a little salty with how that went. Yeah. But it's, it's,